Hello and welcome. My name is Christina from Empowered Creator. I am a mindset and conscious manifesting teacher and coach, and this is my YouTube channel. Here I talk about all things law of assumption, mindset, conscious manifesting, the quantum universe, and a lot more. And my goal is to simplify everything without the fluff. So if you guys like this content and you would like to see more of it, I would love it if you would subscribe to this channel, comment on this video, like it, share it, and stick around. Also, if you need help with your specific situation, I offer one-on-one -on -one coaching as well as custom subliminals for whatever needs you may have. I also have some self-study courses about manifesting your specific person. So if you're interested in any of these services, the links are below in the description box. Click on them and they're going to take you to my website. With all that being said, let's dive into today's video. In today's video, I want to talk to all of you guys who are manifesting a specific person and who might still be stuck in whatever circumstances you are facing with them or in your manifestation of them. And I want to teach you a method of how you can reframe those circumstances, whatever you perceive as important or serious circumstances in your manifestation, so that you can actually start seeing things from a different perspective and you can start seeing those same circumstances under a different light. So this is what I'll be discussing in today's video. Stay tuned. So from the many people I coach and the many people I talk to, I realize that the biggest stumbling block when you're manifesting a specific person and really any desire that matters to you, but let's talk about specific person today, is what people perceive as circumstances. It's what people think is hindering their manifestation. It's what people think might be an obstacle to the manifestation or things that might have transpired in the past, things that their SP might have done or said that they perceive as a problem when it comes to manifesting a loving, committed relationship with the SP or whatever it is that each one of you is manifesting with their specific person. Usually the most common of these circumstances tend to be being in no contact or having not talked to your specific person or not having seen them for a while or being separated from them for a while, anything from weeks to months to years in some cases, or perhaps there's a third party in the picture or perhaps they've said something that has really hurt you and you have perceived it to be set in stone. For example, they said they're not attracted to you or they have no feelings for you or if they used to be in love with you in the past, they're not in love with you anymore and things like that. So today in this video, I want to help you reframe whatever you perceive as your circumstances when it comes to your specific person so that you can learn to apply this method yourself and really change the light in which you see things and the light in which you see your relationship with your SP and also your manifestation of them. So what you want to start doing is when you're looking at whatever set of circumstances you are facing right now, Look at it from the perspective of how does this set of circumstances actually serve me? How is this set of circumstances actually positive for me? How is it helping my manifestation? How is it helping my desire to manifest? And I know that looking at it from the outset, this suggestion might sound crazy to a lot of you because if you perceive a set of circumstances as something completely undesirable and 100% negative, I get that you might be struggling to see it in a different light and to see it as something that can actually help your manifestation, but I promise you it's all in your mindset. It's all in your perspective. It's all in your point of view. And the good news is you can train yourself to start looking at things from a point of view that always serves you no matter what. So let me give you some examples here. Let's say that you are in no contact with your specific person and you worry that you haven't talked to them in a long time or you haven't seen each other in a long time and so it's kind of out of sight, out of mind. You might be worried that they're not thinking about you, that they might have forgotten about you, etc. And this is of course a very common set of circumstances that a lot of people manifesting a specific person are dealing with. But the solution to that and the solution to seeing it in a different perspective is actually quite simple. The reason why you see the set of circumstances as a negative is because you have given time and the lapse of time a negative meaning in your mind. You're equating time with your fear that they're going to forget about you. You're equating time with they're not thinking about me. You're equating time with the concern that you may have that the more time goes by, the less they're going to want you and the less they're going to be interested in you. And as such, the less likely it's going to be for you to get your manifestation. Well, this, you guys, is just a perspective. This is just a point of view. You can actually train yourself to look at it from a different perspective that actually serves you. How about, for example, you start looking at the lapse of time as an opportunity? 
How about you start telling yourself that this time that has elapsed is actually helping you in your relationship. It's actually helping you manifest a better, different relationship with your specific person based on stronger foundations, based on more loving foundations, because both of you have had time to develop yourselves, evolve as people, perhaps reflect on past mistakes, and come back into this relationship as more emotionally mature people. How about you also look at time from a different perspective that is equally true, that when you haven't seen someone in a long time, you are bound to miss them much more. So the more time that has elapsed between you speaking to your SP or seeing your SP, the more likely they are to have missed you and the more likely they are to be longing for you and to be longing to reunite with you and restore that relationship with you. Also, how about you look at the time that has elapsed and the no contact that you may be in as an opportunity for any past unfortunate events to be forgotten from both sides because that is also true. As time passes, things are less fresh in our mind. So any frustrations, any disappointments, any resentment, any anger actually become less pronounced. So your specific person is much more likely to have softened up about whatever might have gone on between the two of you in the past. And so again, you're much more likely to start this relationship again on a much healthier foundation, on a much more emotionally mature foundation on a foundation where both of you are ready to give your best selves and to be the best version of yourselves and to invest in this relationship. If you're facing other unfortunate circumstances, for example, if there's a third party in the picture, how about instead of looking at that third party as a threat to you and as a factor that is stopping your SP from coming to you, you instead start looking at it from the perspective of my SP is comparing that third party to me and the comparison is always favorable to me because they're realizing through the third party that I am the one for them, that I am so much better for them, that I am so much more compatible with them than the third party is with them. So essentially, you train yourself to look at whatever circumstance you might have regarded as unfortunate and negative in the past, to instead start looking at it as an opportunity, as an opportunity to transcend the circumstances, as an opportunity for you to prove how the law works and prove the function of the law, and as an opportunity for you to become much stronger within, because you will have proved to yourself that any and all circumstances can really be overcome. And the same goes for other things that you might see as unfortunate circumstances. For, for example, if they've rejected you, or if they've told you that they don't see you romantically, they only see you as a friend, for example, or maybe you are friends with benefits and they don't see a commitment to you. You can still see that as an opportunity for you to prove to yourself that you can transcend the circumstances, you can see it as an opportunity to prove to yourself that circumstances are not set in stone and they're not fixed, they're always malleable, and it always depends on where you put your consciousness and your awareness. And so even though it has hurt in the past what they said, you can prove to yourself through putting your consciousness in alignment with your desire and with what you want, that you can actually change what they said, that you can actually revise what they said. So you see then that it's not the circumstances per se that matter so much, but instead it's how you interpret the circumstances. It's what I have said in other videos that every event that happens in the 3D is actually neutral and it's on you to give it a positive or a negative charge. And that depends on the stories that you build around it. So if you're facing circumstances with your SP that you see as unfavorable, it's a matter of training yourself to start looking at them from a different perspective. You need to start training yourself to look at these circumstances as an opportunity for you to prove how the law works. Or you can train yourself to look at them from a positive side. Whereas before they might have felt as completely unfortunate and completely negative, you are now able to find the positive side to them and how it can actually serve you and how it actually aligns with what you want. So start trying this, you guys. Start looking at your circumstances from a different point of view and a different perspective and see how that works for you. And I promise you that once you start training yourself to look at whatever comes up in the 3D in this way, your manifestations are going to start coming in much faster, much easier, much more naturally, much more effortlessly. With all that being said, I'm going to wrap up this video here. I intend that this has helped. As always, I very much appreciate you guys being on this channel, watching this content. I love making this content for you. And as always, I look forward to seeing you all at the next video. Until then, take care and bye-bye.